Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Danny and Mike, wherein the fellows discuss Craven's lapels, rear window screening techniques, and dance belts. All that and special guest Ken Plume. Now play the music, Kimberly. Keep him here. All right, well, I guess we do a, a fair amount of keep him here. Yeah, we do. That's one. That's a go-to. There's a lot of Stockholm syndrome I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Here's one. How about this? Welcome to the Adventures of Danny and Mike. <laughs> to my right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli. Hello. To his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. I would say I'm to the left of Danny politically. Well, okay. And our guest for the entire <laughs> hour, Mr. Kent Plume. Hi. How's it going? Welcome to the uh, beautiful Seltzer King Studios. I am uh, mostly honored to be here. Mostly? <laughs> well, I want to leave room to be fully honored oh, by the oh, end, wow. by the end wanna, of the show. You want yeah. 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 an increase? I don't in... want to start out fully honored. Okay. Then you That's just fine. have to bleed. You just have to bleed out gas, like onto oh, a the... Columbia jacket, huh, Ken? Oh, yeah, I know, right? I'm just gonna. I'm trying to like lower the bar again okay. a little bit to bring yeah. you back up. Oh, we can load that bar really far. <laughs> Protect the brand, jackass. Also, I, I do want to say, I hope that the show ends with us performing songs from the Cape Man. I saw that. You saw that? <laughs> yeah. Music yeah. Uh-huh. Out in the uh, the beautiful lobby that you have <laughs> in this podcast. <laughs> the, re- the reception area for Seltzer yeah. King Studios is actually a 1903 marble. <laughs> the fact that you have a piano bar. It was there yeah. as well. Yeah, is impressive. Uh, what's weird is that Sergey works for free, and Jeremy's been trying to evict him since he moved in, and he will not leave. It's true. He plays the hits though. You but know. yeah, it does. And and once every other Tuesday, he'll play all the honky tonk you want. I'm just glad I brought singles. A saloon here. <laughs> he. He only takes wooden nickels, man. That's the weirdest thing about. Oh him. no, I, loose cigarettes, right? Oh 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 yeah, Lucy's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No Lucy's for you? No thanks. Not that that was another time. I don't think I ever bought a loose cigarette ever. Really? Yeah. I bought one rare close to this apartment before. Several times. That doesn't mean that everyone has. You know, the the shitty thing about <laughs> loose cigarettes is uh uh the, the markup. There's a very large markup. I was on, really curious to cigarettes. hear where you were going with mm. what the really <laughs> shitty thing about loose cigarettes is. <laughs> Other than the fact that they're cigarettes. You know, because they're all pre smoked. They come pre lit. Cigarette, yes. yeah. cigarette trafficking in, ge- in general. They're yeah. only they're the, that's that would be what I would have done when I was in seventh grade. Would be take the the cigarette butts that had a little bit of tobacco and you'd roll them. Please, into like one disgusting. Please, I have not yet had lunch. It's okay. I'm and just this, saying. And this will happened. ensure. And this will ensure that I also do not have dinner. Oh, that's okay. You need to lose a little bit of weight. Me. <laughs> Turning it back on him. <laughs> Turn it back on him. We've uh, we've we've evidently turned I'm the sorry. clocks. We've he, turned the clocks forward to 2029. Ken, here's a here's the thing. All right, I'm getting married in like 50 days, and uh, Mike's a groomsman, and uh, I'm keep, keep getting these emails from uh, <laughs> the place that I'm using to to rent tuxes, being like. This dude hasn't, still hasn't submitted anything, still hasn't so sub- I wonder if it's a, if it, there's a weight thing going on. I don't want to want to give him his size. I don't want to take my measurements. I refuse a, to take my measurements. Refusing to take measurements. I refuse to take my measurements. Ken, how do I deal with the fact that? that it's the the novelty tuxedo like full ruffle? <laughs> <laughs> it is powder just, blue. Just because there's six separate, you know, Dumb and Dumber powder blue and canary I yellow. I don't know what's your issue with with a 17 inch lapel. Turn signals, mostly. <laughs> Turn signals, and we're going to be, uh, it's actually an interior, but if it was an exterior, there would also be FAA issues. I was really into Doctor Strange, okay? So those 17-inch lapels are fine with me. Dude. Just How about Craven the Hunter? Craven the Hunter popping like, uh, you know. Craven the Hunter. What's more? What's a bigger lapel? <laughs> what's, <that? laughs> what's a bigger lapel than like lion ears, like half a lion's head? <laughs> were they lapels, or was it like a, a, a big, massive leopard print stole? Kind of thing. Mm. So you're saying Craven Liberace? <laughs> yeah. I mean, his piano skills were he okay. Also, you know what? That's what Sergi does for Halloween. Craven Liberace. Yeah, he does Craven Liberace. Write it down, Jeremy, please. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, please. Thank you. 
I appreciate it's it. It's forever very written. Much. It's forever written down. It's in our hearts. <laughs> So the Halloween episode is going to be in, in full costume that no one can see, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, by then, we may be streaming. Uh, that's about, what, eight months away? I think, I, I I think mean, we could. I mean, considering the upgrades. We could hook it up. <laughs> yeah. This is only. Yeah, uh, it takes about another eight months to get the streaming up in here, you know? Yeah. We only got Optimum Online over here. The Onions only got time for, uh, for so many cameras to be installed in them streaming podcast studios. <laughs> yeah, they franchised the DSL one block at a time. Uh, the here. city, and the it flows, city. And it flows downhill, God. unfortunately, because of where we are in Park Slope and undisclosed location. Well, I mean, that's the slope aspect of it. Yeah, well, it's right, left people to, don't it's know. Left to right. Internet runs downhill. That's true. Huh. That's why it works so well in Kansas City. <laughs> And Omaha. I want to hear more about these tuxes. You want to hear more about the tuxes? I'm being I can, pressured to I rent. Can, I can tell you everything you want to know about the tuxes. I'm actually because shocked I'm the you one, don't own. You seem like the person does, who would own. It's not about owning. It's a, it's it's a nice tux I have that everybody tuxedo. can be matching in. I have all. my. It's a rent. This is a rental situation. Uh, I have the prom outfit. Um, I I went to a prom in West Virginia, and for this prom, I went to. Domsey's Warehouse, which was a place over on 10th and, and Wythe in Williamsburg, and got a ruffly shirt and cufflinks and studs and a jacket with lapels that were a different texture. <laughs> Why do you not want this in your wedding? <laughs> well, because the... I haven't all, worn it in they, 20 they years. Got, they all got a match. All, all of the... Yeah. the so my I just assumed that you to went match. to a prom last year. Why you might have. and this was yeah, yeah I don't get I don't get does. enough ret- I don't get enough he- retweets to go to proms like that I, it's not it's not happening. What's your threshold? What's my What's thresh- your prom threshold my- for retweets? Oh, I I was gonna say point oh eight per <laughs> per blood alcohol per blood liter, but no blood liter. What's the measurement there? Is it I don't I don't know what liter of liter, blood. liter of blood in terms of going to the prom. That's Dan's. Uh, well, yeah, it was a, a carry. Fright, I went to a carry themed yeah, prom. I and, was gonna say, and I would point out that Dan's upper lip is broken out into a stark, nervous sweat. Not true. It's Not a fierce sweat. It's a fierce sweat. I just took a sip of my matcha tea, bro. Matcha. Tea, perhaps the green matcha, matcha, matcha. <laughs> See, that's funny. Perhaps the it's green not tea. That funny, but it made you laugh. It was enough. You know what? This early in the morning, it was enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I had my Irish breakfast before I left the house, like a good boy. And now I'm continuing the green beverages with a, a green lime polar seltzer from the good people at Polar Seltzer. See, this is what That's we do. Polar Seltzer. P-O- protecting protecting the <laughs> brand, even though and the brand- protecting their brand. Even though the brand does not protect us, uh, as of yet, we phone lines are open. I and, thought you were going to uh, go in the direction of like, you know, they protect- Polar bears in the Arctic. <laughs> I mean, they they protect no, one in particular. They, There's like a, 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 what do you call it? A billboard in, where is it? Wissa? Yeah, it's somewhere. It's somewhere in Massachusetts. That they have like a caged polar bear on mm-hmm, the billboard? That they keep, no, it's just one caged polar bear that's like <laughs> on the side of 95 is right in between Portland. Yeah. And when you veer off to Route 1 to get close to the To be fair, that sounds like something that would be in Florida. Yeah, I know. Well, some people say soul, that Maine is the Florida of Bear the Gardens. East Coast, of the Northeast. Yeah. The mass one, the, the weather's a little better. All you see is a lot of paw prints, like, streaking down the window. You want to see Let a polar bear fight a gator? <laughs> no, no, I do no, I do not. In You've some got sort a snake of, referee. That's what I mean. Like, any, just now North Carolina's coming out. I, I, I noticed on your business card that you uh, you list a North Carolina something. Uh, I am located there, but my uh, family is from New York, and they were military families, so hence the lack of any real discernible accent, uh, mm. unless mm. when I want to put on uh, an affectation that speaks ill of the place. Where when, I, when, I, <laughs> when I want to. Yes. How about Jeremy? Does and if Jer- you're looking for the uh, local discount. You know, oh, good, oh yeah. Good call. You, you got you to gotta throw the accent on for that. I was, t- mm. I was told mm. to mm. pronounce... Uh, Diner, the correct way, which is a Turkish gyro. Oh, I just fucked myself. Um, <laughs> what do does you, that mean? What, do you how, many, how many Turkish gyros do you eat down in North Carolina? I mean, there's a place right down the, the block from me. Place to expand. serves the best with sausage gravy on them? Mm, no. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't think Jeremy has much of an accent, but sometimes it pops out. Does it? I, I don't... I have no judgment for my own accent. No, that's yeah, the, yeah. It's, really? You have the Ohio Kentucky. You have the Ohio Kentucky line. That's all. The quick brown 
fox jumped over the red moon. Oh, that's totally Otucky. That um, that what do you call it? That you can pilot hear it now too. Yeah. That, oh, that really? Pi- the pilot shot in L.A., but the series is coming here. Quick brown fox. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna get the show <laughs> only on MSNBC. Yeah. Oh, we, well, weird. Oh, weird. Yeah. yeah. So I want to hear about the deeper issues about this tux because this is this goes deeper than just. I oh, sure. I have wedding. I that's that's a good point. It. I have wedding. I have wedding issues in general. Um. Yeah, weddings have always been significantly traumatic in my life. Why can't you just go groomsman casual? I I, mean, I don't know if I don't know if this would I don't know if you can uh, really if it, uh, if it was an issue I don't know if you can really we <laughs> could have you know we could have plume talked sinuate about it. yourself mm-hmm. into the conversation at this <laughs> into the planning at this point, so, Ken. <laughs> Ken, if you were one of my groomsmen, would you have gotten your which tux? you are which you are not. No, I, it was made very clear, but can be replaced by the body language in front of me that that was not happening. Well, I'm saying if you know, I feel like how is Mar- how does Morona get cold feet for my wedding? You know, well, at least he's I'm getting saying. them, and not not you. I don't, yeah, I don't have any cold feet. Well, do you remember those characters on Tasmi Street when you hit the one twin, the other one would get hurt? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking so Mike. I'm taking some of the load, bro. Yeah. You take take a load off Fanny, man. This is this Danny. is this is my take a load for free. <laughs> take a load off Danny, and, and take a load for you put the load, put the load, put right the load, on me. Right big on Pete. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All done. All done. Uh, here's and some ap- apologies. That to, is uh, apologies to, to Rob, Ron Robert, Helm. I'm very Robertson. sorry. No, don't apologize to Robbie Robertson. He is a brick. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck Robbie Robertson. <laughs> Because he broke up the band because he was a little bitch. How, how many fuck times? You, Robbie, fuck Robbie you, Robinson. fuck you, fuck you. You're cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many times has Robbie turned down coming on the show? How many every, invites every have Every time. Sent? Every time. No, I will never send him an invite because he's a he selfish gets prick. nothing, yeah. And he broke up the band because Just he was like being selfish and he Rich, wanted to be cool. Richard, what's his name? He didn't also ask anybody never else. The and then they continue to play. Wait, I'm with you. We can go up on Cripple Creek yeah, if don't, you want. Don't Richard, yell at the guests. You can, Jesus you Christ. Know, Rich, Jim Weeder came in and played guitar just fine. Richard also, Robbie Lloyd Robertson, is never coming on this show. No, no, Richard Lloyd will never come on this show, but that's besides <laughs> the point. Robbie Robertson also never sang. He was a fake singer. He would get up to that microphone and do this. But we have the yeah, isolated the we have the light yeah. the isolated vocals. From. I'd love to. I would love to Can hear. Iso- I would right love now? to hear the. Uh, yeah, here's the isolated Watch. vocals but, yeah. on okay. up on Cripple uh, Creek. Jeremy has actually queued it up. Uh, this is just the uh, chorus would part. Would you hit the isolated <laughs> Robbie Jer- Robbie Roberts? Jeremy hit. Uh, Jeremy hit play. This is great podcast fodder. That's it. You just uh, hear him breathing. Wow. I mean, but but the harmonies but he brings to it. I mean, you know what I mean. It's there's the something breaths. special about it. Yeah. yeah All right, the, Jeremy, hit, hit pause on that. That's uh, we're yeah. Done, yeah, we're, we're done, done listening. We're done listening yeah, to yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, we don't want to overshadow. I'd like to explain that to the listener, but uh, <laughs> there's no be. reason to explain it to the listener. <laughs> That's the joke. Robbie Robertson didn't fucking <laughs> sing. Whoa. Yeah. He's a lying, crack faced. Monkey man. Now what? A, wow. Now what other yeah. myth, what other myths would you like exploded while you're <laughs> while you're in town, Ken? Because I understand you're in town for a limited time. <laughs> Sorry, it just got me. You 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 guys hit the the Cripple Creek thing pretty hard, and it, it got me. Something in the green tea struck a nerve. There's a there's a lot of weight on you right now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like about two kilos, and he's sweating to get rid of it. <laughs> he needs to lay off the yayo. Uh, How many days until that wedding? Yeah, fifty two. Shedding. Shedding. Shedding for the way. <laughs> well, I stopped eating and I just been doing a lot of cocaine, really, really trying to get I don't want to do the cardio, you know? I don't no. I don't feel like doing all that work. But you want I'll your just, body to do the cardio I'll let, for you. I'll let my heart do the cardio <laughs> for me and I'll just sit here. Everyone wants a meth wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a musical. Yeah, uh, here's a we have there's a it's a big wedding. If there's if we're both meth heads, we I would give ourselves uh, multiple pats on the back. It's a because White way for a meth wedding. Does it end with you stealing the centerpieces off your own tables? <laughs> it's a <laughs> nice No, but day I did take all the silverware. Thought again. <laughs> and I There's thought the- and I thought I knew how to take apart the projector and put it back together and then I just left it in a million pieces. Yeah. He does those those field tests where he strips the projector and puts it back together blindfolded. <laughs> just for fun cuz I know I can do it. Yeah. You already something. did it with the cake. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I. You can do anything with a samurai sword. So many layers. You know man. the meth wedding has a samurai sword cake cutting. Oh, oh God. Is it too late? To- I don't. 
to rejigger the entire wedding? No, there's a Belushi hologram that has now just been released under public domain, so you don't have to pay as much. Wow. Samurai Deli. Yeah. That's it. Really bringing you back with the references here. So I now, like that. now I'm, I'm curious. Are you hiring entertainment, or is the entertainment for your own wedding to play your own wedding? No, we have our own uh, DJ that's going to be, as the, the musician hires a DJ for his wedding. Yes, I get it. It's sounds funny. I thought that I thought that John's tribute band was going to play. We're, no. Wob- wobble. <laughs> I hear Robbie's free. <laughs> wobble. He's wobble. Robbie fronted uh, wobble. No, we're going to play a couple songs though in between. Robbie there. Robertson, silent karaoke. <laughs> Coming just, this fall, just in instru- everything is just that you just hear the just the karaoke, karaoke track and him oh, standing man. there just mouthing, pretending the- to belt everything out. Yeah, I went to a nice wedding last year where the father of the bride was a proud father, and uh, and also was a pretty good rock drummer. And after giving a speech, he <laughs> he laid one down. Yeah, yeah. He, he soloed and then played like a good song to show off his ability, and then we got <laughs> and then we got back to awesome. Nice. He soloed? Yeah. He started, you know, he started off a little, you know, no, 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 he gave you a little more, he gave you a little more. Was he like jazzy drummer or was it like rock? Rock, like, you know, he was rock. Yeah, he was rock. Go was straight dad. ahead. Go dad. Yeah, he was very, you, very proud in, in his a, time. There was a great SNL sketch about like a dad getting his band back together for his daughter's wedding and it, uh, it's Fred Armisen. And I forget who else, but he was like the lead singer and it was an old school punk band. Mm. <laughs> and so like, he's like, all right, thanks. I just want to, you know, just, I, I just think it'd be great to play again get my buddies up here. It's been like 30 years. And they're like, you know, saying all these geriatric things like my back hurts and blah, blah, blah. And they start like, yeah, political, like screaming and yelling and like knocking plates off the tables and just generally being like very punk rock and like breaking stuff. And that's not going to happen at my wedding. Why not? I'd because be his dad wasn't. Because his dad wasn't Darby Crash. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Right. I mean, accurate. Right. Very accurate. Jeremy, have I spoken a truth today? Several. Uh, I did want to add that um, I have not bought my tux either. <laughs> rented. <laughs> rented. Rented. Yes. Yeah, Be- I know. I I did a little. I did a little look <clears throat> to. The hard part is, Ken. I mean, the bar again has been hey, lowered so much. Hey, if I were to rent a tux. Can uh, I be okay, in your okay, wedding? Because it seems it. like no one else has rented yet. Yeah, I mean, wow. well, let me tell you something. Nine people have not rented yet out of fourteen. Yeah, but what's the need them. what's the what's the cutoff? Ninety nine wedding month, guests a are month. high. So you guys have twenty one days. Yeah, I shouldn't. I guess I name shouldn't and shame. have name I and shame. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have a bunch of pothead. Ninety nine <laughs> wedding guests all high. Oh, do, bro, do, do, I don't do, know. Do, do, like, do. I want to get it. I forgot my reservation. Bro, that's like look six. Ounces. I even got, just have a rack of tuxes at the church. They're just sitting at the church. Chi- oh, no, you know it's genius. <laughs> got mad backups. Like when you go to a classy restaurant, like you can wear the house jacket. So. Yeah, yeah. Have the house tuxes for your wedding. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I think he's. I think there's he's going a place all the way. In, there's a place in New York that you could go and get fitted. That's from this company, and everyone except two live around here. Three live. In this neighborhood, you're okay. Of now New you're York City. Now I mean, you're the Taylor. entire neighborhood. You're forcing out some groom sweat that is not becoming. So I, uh, I'm going to d- slightly redirect with my foible wedding foibles, where I wasn't I wasn't fitted for this uh, for this prom. I just bought stuff at Domsey's. You know what I mean? I didn't. I just got it at the thrift store. Yeah, I mean it's the 21st century. Lots of things have changed. Like you can order a tux online, and it comes right to your door with a shipping that can you can a label send it you right can send right to. back. You're like, and oh, if you put it on, I don't like this. Ken, if you put it on and it doesn't fit right, guess what? You send that shit right back, and they send you a brand new one overnighted. Jeremy, he's spiraling. I'm I think, just saying. I think the problem I'm, is, Jeremy, you, quick, you made this too easy for them. I did. You know, I, you I have a concierge that works there that, that's uh-uh. supposed to be bugging them each it's, time, and it should have been me. It's password protected. It should have been me. It's password protected. What's password protected? The the site. No, it's not. Has this concierge called you yet? I'm sure she has. I've gotten emails. <laughs> yeah. I just got one. Kimberly. 
Kimberly should yeah. be sending you a bunch right. of emails. Right. Everybody, everybody relax. Maybe she's in my bulk folder right now. Scream, <laughs> are they pleasant and emails struggling. or do they escalate? I'm does sure she eventually escalating. just show up? They don't I think go, one was like, they don't, they the don't price go to the level. has gone up 10 bucks. Ha <laughs> ha. They don't Deal go to the level sucker. of political fundraising. I am immune from this issue. Apparently, I've never donated to a political campaign because I'm not on any list that's, that goes... The, where the subject line is three times the donation. You're Do just it. on Kimberly's no, tux list. No, no, I get, but I, you know, I, I see all these other people showing pictures of their subject lines and their emails. And it's like, Michael, we need you this time to save us. You know what I mean? Like I right. don't get any types of emails like that. And I guess that's why I'm not writing a star Wars parody, you know, <laughs> screenplay because I'm not constantly <laughs> bombarded with these, with these sort of levels of, of drama. In Mike, my, in my email, use in the my, force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Themes. Five dollars, triple donation. Yeah, they always, they always escalate. <laughs> they always escalate around May the fourth for some reason. They get, you know, start increasing towards the spring primary season. Mm-hmm. Big ups. Do you want to have lunch with Chris Noth on the defunct set of Sex in the City Three? <laughs> I realize, I realize that he's like, he's a dead ringer for Victor Mature, which for a certain generation, like really really set them off and set the standard. I've been watching some John Ford films lately and like he was in a couple of, uh, he played Doc Holliday. Uh, you deep diving into AMC? No, no, just uh, not, not a Turner cab- classic, not a cable subscriber, not giving my money to any of those he people. Grabs, he grabs the, the digital signal in the air. Yeah. He sucks it in. And I think Jeremy is getting him to, uh, uh, Jeremy's, Jeremy's Sl- slowly getting him to get the, the video game version of TV. He gives me a comes taste. Out of the video game he gives me. Now? He gives me a taste every so often, but I, I still haven't that? committed. I haven't all committed. the streaming. Yeah. No. You just buy your cable normally, and you just have it. No, they just send it to me. You just, just get it for up. free. A, God, a, you're so envelope? cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I heard that they're gonna send set top boxes that dissolve. You know, after one month, so you get a new one every month. Yeah, I mean, you get to keep the adapters. They kind of have to. Just to keep you go. I mean, that's how you keep an addiction going, isn't it? You yeah. have to have some kind of valid. set obsolescence. <laughs> Absolutely <there>. valid. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that I'm going to throttle bad. back your stream. How bad you want it? Mm-hmm. Just happened to me. Watch the mail last night. I was trying to watch something on NBC, and I don't have cable, but I have my sister's. You were just looking in somebody's window? No. <laughs> One of those garden level apartments? No. Did you I'm just let him finish? I have I'm my just... sister's binoculars, <laughs> and I was watching my neighbor across the way. Has a 42-inch set. And, uh, it's really had, nice. And I was and he, good. And he never sits in that middle seat. And just at the end of and The Last of Us, my girlfriend walked in and knocked over the binoculars. <laughs> you ever done that? Like, excuse me, fiancé. He's got a fiancé. <laughs> that rear window know. streaming? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking Rear about window streaming. Weird. You have invented a new category of felony. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. New category of felony. Or solve the murder. Rear, rear window streaming. You might streaming. have solved the murder. Yeah. Uh, you might have, we might have solved the murder, but I definitely committed several crimes while doing it. <laughs> I violated the I've used Millennium my, Act. I've used but, my sister's cable password for a while. Do Daniel, you, do how you really could want to you? say that on a podcast? How could who, you? Who, who, who's going to come after me? A lot of famous last words. Dude, Who's going to come after dude, me? Dude, the FCC has a podcast office where they listen to this every whole, single podcast. And this whole nobody podcast lasts can, more than four months at the job because can, they all keep killing themselves. Ken, this whole podcast is I, a joke. You know what? Suicide okay. jokes are not funny. The whole thing and is a joke. I apologize for that. Uh, don't commit suicide and reach out for help. <laughs> wow. Where did, <laughs> how did that hell? get there? We were having our own thing and Mike was talking about suicide. But the is PSA was important. That, yeah, yeah. You got to have a PSA. Yeah, it's still we you don't know, really throw the PSAs into jokes like that. Well, no, like, it wasn't a, a joke. It's a nice way to soften the you know. No, the, I kind of pulled the e brake there before the I cable went. fraud that I'm you know currently. Yeah, I pulled the e brake there as I went through the intersection <laughs> that he hopes he's not being investigated for. Um, well, this is what they're doing. Now, I imagine right? that it would be a depressing job to work at the FCC office of podcasting, oh. listening to every single podcast for people to say stuff. I want to like see the special did. agent they send to arrest you at your wedding. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. You are going to be that special agent. And if you give me your sizes, 
I'll let you slip in disguise, <laughs> disguised as a groomsman. Can you give me your password? No, the, but I will put. Site? I'll forward your email to Kimberly if you lay it on me. Oh my! You know what? I don't have to worry because I have your card. It has your email on it, and I'm going to give it to Kimberly. You know what? At this point, how many tuxedoed groomsmen can we get to show up at your wedding? <laughs> I don't know. One of my favorite uh, eighteen eighteen <laughs> Not a lot. episodes. They show up as a caterer my dad? team and they just shoot up the whole party. <laughs> my dad, go ahead. Just saying as. He if he, he bops also, Paul on the head, if he bops Paul on the head and gives a convincing speech, you got to be like bust, yeah. you got to be busting with pride, right? I want to say just what an amazing person that Danny has proven. To Jersey, be. No, give me Jersey. He's not uh, what he's, an amazing person Danny's been over the years. <laughs> wow, Jeez. wow, it's like it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Except for that point when he started stealing that cable, <laughs> <laughs> he went wrong there. I'm sorry, it's a failing in my own parentage. It's my own fault. I gave him I gave him mine at first, and then also, I changed it and never gave him a new one. He had to go to his sister's. Hold on. Let me take off this uh, <laughs> this groomsman's hat and put on this investigator hat. Oh, no. Oh, I fooled you. Oh, no. Now I'm that going I, to jail I, for as I, as cable I, fraud. As I raise a glass to you, I put a handcuff on you with the other hand. <laughs> Daniel, at your Guys, own wed- at your own wedding. It's all a joke. You know I don't what? ever steal anybody's cable. Uh-huh. Nothing. Just bad their has hearts happened. through cable TV. You know, you know what, guys? I Let did. him take a piece of cake with him in the van. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's, vegan. That's, it's vegan. Should be yelling. I'll get a smoothie for the morning, dear. <laughs> uh, was you, any last requests? Can I get a smoothie? Can I get a smoothie? I need spinach. I need an apple. I need a banana. I need some frozen raspberries, frozen, raspberries. frozen blueberries, and yogurt. And and no dairy. you can get a little bit of peanut butter, okay, and some chia seeds for protein. Yeah, don't worry. She can bring conjugal visits every third Tuesday. Every third Tuesday. Did you notice how his father became chief of police right now? <laughs> his, well, the disguise well, yeah, is off. I'm right, no longer having right. to impersonate No, no, no. Me. I know. Yeah. Did you see he did... Yeah. He pulled the, the face mask for off. The, for the listener, uh, Ken is now s- sitting here in a groomsman's outfit with a rubber mask hanging off Do you off see of how easy that is, Mike? Yeah. He just put his sizes in the computer. He plugged, plugged him Man. in. Kimberly was very helpful. <laughs> you look good in it, too. Uh, thank you. Yeah. It's not you. You know what? Good choice that you made on the style for Pre- it. Pressure's, you know, pressure's really on, Jeremy. A, do you think we? It's a slender. Do you think we should a take a trip? Thing, you it's know, slimming. as it's it's a slimming it's a slimming suit. That's why I got it for everybody. That's do why I don't should, understand. We should take a trip to the to the Fitmatron, <laughs> where they measure you, where robots measure Here's you with Doctor Seuss hands. I already have the <laughs> measurements. Some you of you have them. the measurements in there. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you did. Yeah, there's. I get to see everything. I'm yeah. like fucking. I don't want to. Is this I'm that like we play streaming Oz. for you? Is just monitoring this mm-hmm. groomsman situation? I know Dan. <laughs> I, I know Dan already knows how big my dick is. I don't want him to have documentation <laughs> of it on a fucking on a list of you know vital statistics. He's no, gonna you have get my... him this dance belt. <laughs> God, man. You, you know you wear. What do you know about? You, hold on. You wear a cock. So, you wear a cock sock Time when out. you do certain Time roles. Out. What do you know about a dance belt, Ken? What you know about a dance belt? What you know belt? about dance belts? I know of their existence. Have you ever had to wear one? I have never had to wear one. Right. This, You're this a is lucky the, man. This is the part of Danny and Mike's podcast we call the grill. This, <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like to wear a dance belt? You know what? I, want, I do. I want to hear I do. what it's like to wear a dance belt. Oh, like, you is this, do? Is this the scared straight This is the scared, of it? This is the scared straight. <laughs> you know what it's like to wear a oh, dance belt? Oh, you never wear a dance belt? You'd be lucky that you never wore a dance belt. Yeah. How Imagine, about taking a piece of fabric right. that's only about half an inch from the top of your ass crack all the way down the grundle to the bottom of your balls? That's a, that's oh, a geez, long way. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? You know what happens? It gets itchy. It gets real itchy. Oh, All right? you, don't, you don't want that. And you, you don't, don't want know. That. You've never gotten one new. Hey. You don't know where they come hey. from. What? Maybe maybe there's only one and it's recycled. Nobody's ever told you what the uh, you know the, the the worst thing for a man is. You know? No. Yeah, it's called PIB. You know what that is? Poison ivy balls. <gasps> what? Yeah. yeah, poison ivy balls. That's what a dance belt gives you. When? But it's also that true. It's Danny, very. It's also very slimming. Danny played Puck in Shakespeare in the Park, and they imported oh. real. You know, the, the director <laughs> needed real ivy. To come uh, in, they had it trucked in from Suffolk County, and unfortunately, it was poison. And there he was. The true story, though, as a sixteen and seventeen-year-old teenager, I had to wear a dance belt for a character on all that, where I was a bodybuilding woman named Helga, and I had to wear this big pink leotard, and I wore it normally with you know boxer briefs on, and they were like, you know what? 
we're going to have to give you a dance belt. It covered, it covered all the nooks cut, and crannies. Cut, cut to. Cut to me at 25. Still wearing it? At I just the strip like club. Them. I just like them now. <laughs> but I'm on stage and I'm rocking it. With- it was revelatory <laughs> at that moment. <laughs> My life changed. Do, 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 Every, you know, it's do, funny. Every do, third do, Tuesday, do. also, I wear a dance belt. Dance and then Tuesday. I have the conjugal visits at the dance belt Tuesday and watch streaming through binoculars across the way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what a sad life that man or woman leads. That's you. What are you oh, talking me? about? Oh, yeah. Why won't they turn the channel already? <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> so rocks at the window. <laughs> so sick of crimi- criminal minds. They, 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 they solve it one time. You, you see everything. Law and Order is the if, same episode every time. If you don't change the channel right when the <laughs> credits are rolling, you're going to get sucked into another Law and Order. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, they really have no... I've been trying to leave for three hours. I got groceries to do. I I think the kettle's on the stove. <laughs> I got one, one shoe on. I'm trying to leave. And I can't stop watching the damn TV. My fiance put black marker around the eye cup so she knows when I've been watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> You've been streaming again, haven't you? No, yeah. no, I no, haven't. No. Tell the truth, raccoon. The Tell the truth. In 52 days, you said you'd change. <laughs> <laughs> Sad truth is that yesterday I had a full, complete juice day where I didn't eat any solid food. That's a great. Was that a warning for great. today? Yeah, that's a warning. No, not a. Change? It's not a warning for today. Are it's you just a warning of the of the? You said you changed. Did you already put your sizes in? Or are you waiting to submit your sizes? No, my sizes are in. But here's the, that's so the then beauty why of juice, it all. Why juice, bro? I'm juicing to be more healthy because I had a very debaucherous last few weeks in terms of. Doing all sorts of uh, things that make you lose brain cells and, you know. So you're having what, an what? endless. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having an endless what? Bachelor party. Mike. He's having Not an anymore. endless Mike. Not anymore. No, the bachelor party was three days, but for me it lasted about a week and then I, and it sort of wore off. We're still 52 days out. It can come back again. It comes in waves. Well, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, you get these, you know, if you if you work out too much, you might get flashbacks. They get stuck in, you know, it's in the the, the fat cells. That explains why you don't work out too much. (laughs) That's right. You're worried God about forbid, the trauma. I'm worried about the trauma that is to come if I keep activating all these. My brain. My brain. You know what? Speaking of PSAs, PTSD is a very serious thing. And fat cell PTSD is something that's not being talked about enough. It's a specific... Fat cell PTSD. Yeah, well, you know, if you... uh, If you've you've lived a life like I have, Ken... Were you going back to the dance belt? I don't know. Uh, Well, yes, the dance belt is where it all started. Why do you think I started doing illicit drugs, Ken? I was 16 years old and forced to wear a dance belt against my will. How does that conversation happen? Is there is there a special liaison they have? You're underage. Yeah. You're like you, uh-huh. we, there's this intimate piece of apparel. That's it's boom. very intimate, and the the you know the the wardrobe lady. I'm just basically, hoping this is helping people right no, now. I, I, I'd say I don't so. don't Look. tease kick it people for being fat kids, but then I wouldn't have a podcast, so I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm that, glad that nobody said anything after that. Just that let that for the listener. Let that speak for itself. <laughs> for the listener, you know what I mean. Like let that let that. Well, the just problem be... was that the music dropped out, so it really isolated. It really what he did. Said. Yeah, ba, ba, we ba, can't. Ba, 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 now, if he could talk and sing at the same time, that's <laughs> that'd be something. I thought you have a ventriloquist gift. You know who we, could? Uh, Robbie you know, Robinson. You know, you know, Robbie he has a ventriloquist gift. I can do a little bit of ventriloquism if you really want me to. You know, look, he worked on it. Not a big deal. It's great, hard trash water. I can't. Or the uh, listener. <laughs> I was looking for Mike's lips to move while you were doing it. Well, and, well we yeah. have to agree on what we're going to say first. But. Dude, don't shut the door on me. Don't shut the door. Oh, yeah, don't shut the door on me, you son of a bitch. I'll kill you. See, that's what I can do. Those are the things oh, that I got that sounds like in it's my from, arsenal. That sounds like it's from uh, the video game that you did that you can play on the PS360. <laughs> What was the name of that video game, Dan? Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Are you a gamer, Ken? Do you play video games? I'm not much of a gamer. I'll play games. I'm You're not, not a gamer, not but a you game a lot. What kind of games person. do you play? Yeah. Are you playing mental games, mind games, stuff like right that? Or brain, you, oh, brain, brain, you tell? brain games? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. My... Oh, yeah. You're falling right into his trap. You're yes. Like, I like only play flying. brain games He's... from HBO. <laughs> <laughs> I have a VHS that I recorded in 1988. Oh, you... <laughs> 
MTV's remote control logo also seemed very similar to the brain games. Yes, sort of. that whole cracked cross sectional head. Uh, I don't know if our dimensional MTV. Let's just. Is this our natural pause of the episode? Move on. I like it's a reflective moment. Wait, yeah, uh, well, we're all thinking about being old. No, <laughs> I was thinking like about the games. Shit. I was thinking about the games that Ken might play, like Zork, text-based games. No, wow. no, I never got into text. I was a uh, Sierra Sierra games, like a Police Quest or a King's King's Quest, Quest. Or a King's Space Quest. Quest. Man, like they Space Ghost or Space Quest. Space Quest. Uh, Roger Wilco. I always felt like they did. They made them when they were walking. Look like they were moonwalking even when they were looking forward. Do, 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 do. Yeah. What, did they also do Load Runner or was that uh, a different. Uh, Load Runner, I think, was Atari? Atar- no, no, there was a different. Uh, in television? Another game manufacturer that was neither of those. I apologize. ColecoVision. ColecoVision. <laughs> that's the only other one I could think of. Jeremy, fact check. Wow. You want fact check him? Fact checkable. Load Runner. Load Runner. L O D E. Yeah. Or maybe that there was, was just Super in- Load Runner. Whoa. You were more of a. You was it really though? You know what, guys? I, I don't see think where it this was. is going. You didn't have the ability to jump. I think, and Load Runner was a big, and that was the big plus. Load Runner was, uh, was first it? fact check of the episode. It was a restriction. What was the manufacturer? Broader Bound. Broader Bound. Yeah, they also what made. The F was but, that? But they also made Where in the World that? Is Carmen San Diego? Oh. That was one of my favorite. There one of my favorite. Uh, I only knew that as a CD. Rockapella. I only knew it as a CD. Oh God, Gateway. Rockapella. Gateway drug to Rockapella. They might not have. Because they might not have had that platform had they not. Don't they have a corner in Brooklyn that they just hang out on? <laughs> you think so, but they got priced no, out. They got, they got nope. priced out, yeah. Uh, acapella doesn't pay the bills like it used to. This is, <laughs> it's 2018, y'all. You gotta... One guy died, and it took like a year to find out for the rest of the members. Uh. It was Jerry. Jerry don't show up. No, we got no bass. Yeah. So everyone oh, it sounds better without the bass Everyone anyway. says we sound reedy, and I wonder why. <laughs> Oh, Jerry's dead. Jerry's been gone. <laughs> Dan, Jeremy, I know you got some fact checking going. Well, on. Well, I'm just looking at other Broder Bun games. Broder Bun, yeah, games. they did. They they what, did make some system? great games. That's, I didn't know that. A, uh, I didn't see uh, Apple and uh, and, Apple? And, and and DOS mostly. Here, there's one that I did play. It was called Mist with a Y. M Y S T. Oh, that's like which early was, 90s. Were they yeah. made by Were they 92? made by Broder Bun as well? Yeah. Get and the fuck out, Prince man. of Persia. Uh, Prince of Persia, I played. Yeah, Spikes. Oh, you 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 were Jake Gyllenhaal, right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't we all want to play as Bubble Boy. Yeah, I was up for Bubble Boy. And let's not forget about the classic. I read, I read for that. Hear that? He was up for it. Raid on Bungling Bay. <laughs> Raid on Bungling, Bungling, Bungling. It looks like Bungling. Let me. See. You you mind if I see? Raid this? on Bungling Bay doesn't sound like a game I would play. Uh, feels like successfully. It, you that sounds like a ColecoVision game. It sounds like a ColecoVision game, and it's, it sounds very. The ColecoVision games I remember were the Smurfs, Mouse Trap, couple Mouse like Trap that. was ColecoVision. Donkey Kong Junior. Yeah, yeah. You remember the Intellivision? I definitely sound played this module. I definitely played Raid on Bungling Bay. See, I, I had all of them, I had all I of them on like a, a five and a quarter track. sound module. Desk. You'd plug the cartridge in, so B twenty nine bomber. <laughs> no, you can replace what? you can replace a thing in How the bottom I... of your car with that. That's the door open chime, and you can replace it with anything, including something that says oh. B twenty nine bomber every time the door is open in your car. So I promise we... you, go to go to go the to internet. Your, go to, go to the, inter- go internet. the internet. Go to the internet. <laughs> And you can, will see what I'm talking can about. Can Kimberly handle this for me? <laughs> not at this point. She's still getting, she's waiting. She's sweating my I mean, sizes and Jeremy's. Yeah, but she's not handling anyone's tuxes right now. So. She's not doing no, a lot. She's yeah. No, she's getting them to the church. She's, they're in the staging area. And then they're in also uh, at the post office waiting to be shipped. Look, has, you know what the easiest thing is going to be? It's just canceling gonna the be... wedding. <laughs> wow. No, I'm wow. just going to get, I'm going to get. North uh, Carolina nihilism, a specific brand. <laughs> I'm going to get some navy blue and some black spray paint. And if they don't have their stuff on, I'm just going to spray paint them. That's what Adele's landlord did. There was like a fresh outbreak of graffiti. And uh, it looks like he hired the same kids who did the graffiti to clean <laughs> it up. <laughs> he, just spray, he just sprayed brown spray paint over the same security. goddamn door. <laughs> oh, my God. It was awful. It does not look good. Just like the, like the window in the front of the door is obscured now from spray paint because he like didn't even cover up the glass while he was fixing wow. it. No scraping at all. He sprayed across the lock. You know, it's great. yeah, but now it's art. That does sound like him, actually. You've been, <laughs> have you been? 
Watch Again, it. Ken's only been here a couple of days. He's soaking he's followed up, all soaking of us. it up like a sponge. Really, yeah. Oh, I spent a couple of months. Well, no, it's been, it, yeah. it. It actually where, would not surprise me that you... it wouldn't surprise me that Phil at the paint store is actually Danny's dad is actually the SCC enforcement <laughs> officer. Yeah. Okay, just so happened to find my way into this podcast. Where in New York is your family at? Uh, well, they were uh, one uh, was from Queens, and there was one were in Concoma. Ron Concoma out on the island. Ron Concoma. Oh, wow, such a Crazy name, isn't Ron it? Konkuma. It's a great. Right yeah. after Jamaica. Yeah, Ron Konkuma, you know? That's where the uh, these Indians were. And then we're like, get out of here. Yeah. But we'll keep the name of your town. Yeah. Well, Ron Konkuma. All of the Northeast. It's, 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 all, yeah, it's no, every I know. Town. It's every town. I live near a Hohokus. I think that's where we went to the emergency room. You just made that up. No, we, no that's a real place. Totally yeah, just made that it's up. Hohokus, New Jersey. It's in, Ber- it's in Bergen County. Uh, I took my brother... To the emer- or picked him up from the emergency room there after he got bitten by my aunt and uncle's dog. Ooh. What kind of dog? Uh, low to the, gr- low little, to the ground. Little, yeah, a little shit dog. That's usually who does it. Low to the ground. So, ankle? Went for the ankle? No, no. He he was low down, too, so he bit him in the face. Ooh. Wow. So that was a jump and bite? Uh, no, he was really low down. He was laying on the ground. Just, yeah, just laying down beside like so basically, oh, no, no, I think he made... basically that's how the dog had enough torque to pull his nose off. <laughs> no, I <laughs> think he was down uh, low enough. No, I think he was like oh, maybe he was on the gr- maybe he was on the ground and the dog was up on the deck is Man, more is more reasonable. You just said nothing but trouble. That's like one of my favorite movies ever. And it's no still one has hold, ever said it, that, not even and it an still actor. holds up. I don't care. Which one? For me, it's it's nothing but trouble. Oh my god. I was like a little little kid when I saw that and seeing like the That's two like guys. Everybody's in... career was in decline in that movie. Oh my god! Everyone, everyone was the just... only one I genuinely <laughs> felt bad for was John Candy because I can't not like John yeah, Candy. Yeah, really, he was great. It's like you don't need this. <laughs> this is like later stage Dom DeLuise territory. This is later stage. You don't need Haunted uh, Honeymoon. <laughs> Look, but you know what gave him all the cred in the world? Digital Underground. Coming in there, did it give them any cred? I think you know they were they were hot off of their their big song. <laughs> and this just chilled them right down, <laughs> and it did. But Tupac was in it. You want to be because Tupac uh, was in Digital Underground. We all know Chase this vehicle. <laughs> I think. The, oh, Dan Aykroyd says he has to have one organ solo in the movie. Probably fine. The, we'll give it to him. The Fat Boys of Disorderlies was probably the best. Oh yeah, I remember that. Probably the best. You didn't like the Condiment Train, <laughs> dude. <laughs> It was just so gross. Like, and I honestly, that's how I, I felt assigned... about. That's how I felt about Pennsylvania until I like spent some time here. Was that like, was that's Pennsylvania and scary and oil fucking. As a kid, that it, coal fire. Uh, as a kid, right? Sorry, that is the signed eight by ten that Dan Aykroyd sent me as a young fan. <laughs> was it nothing but trouble? Was a nothing but trouble. <laughs> one of the uh, newspaper. Eight by ten, so it had various stills from the film and a behind the scenes of him directing. <laughs> and that was the keep cool Ken ah, Banker. Love you. Ah, Banker. Huh? Didn't send me what I wanted. What which, which was? was to a fellow blues brother. Oh. Uh, no. I got well, nothing but he, tr- he got a he had a big stack of nothing but trouble. No, no, that's he like also us. We, sent- we have a lot of the Danny and Mike podcast eight by tens left over that we're gonna <gasps> do, do I get one at the end? Is that what every guest oh, gets? Oh, this is sure, a great you can idea. Get one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry we didn't give you one on the way out as a business card. At the, it's a large foldable business card at the at the con. I mean, to be fair to Dan Eckward, he was very nice. He sent me a second signed photo, which was a promotional stuff from my stepmother's name. How about a bottle of tequila? <laughs> yeah, he'll send you. That was pre tequila. Yeah. Oh, thank God. But you know that he was the one behind the penis nose joke. You know that. Now that that the judge's nose oh, that was a joke. just like a penis. That was a joke. Who was the judge? I mean, it's so hard to identify jokes in that film. It's, well, yeah. And then the bone crusher. Oh, man. Come on. I probably I I probably haven't watched it in 15 years, but so, I had it in college. And so it was here's like the pumped. spinoff of the podcast is uh-huh. the two of you doing audio commentaries for films that no one should watch. <laughs> and we just have to watch them. It's called Take the Bullet. Isn't that how did this get made? Only one of you. Oh, well, this is a commentary. So only one of you has to be enthusiastic about it. <laughs> and we have to switch each week. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. So it's one high, week, is a high and low. One week. It's like a we high dive. Dr. Zhivago. And high and low is a good. But trouble. High and low we could watch, but that's a good movie. So mm. it kind of destroys the Orban project. Destroys the whole series. <laughs> but, uh, 
Look, most of the movies I tend to watch, I think, are good because I just I'm of that good at picking movies to watch. Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to move something along here. Dude, That's all. I was just I was just throwing something out there. Not every movie can be Snowpiercer. That's all I'm saying. Oh, the boy. disappointment on your face when you lift those binoculars <laughs> and realize that they're not watching nothing but trouble, and they never will. So and you'll never, never see that will. film again. What about mom and dad save the planet or save the world? World, yeah. John Lovitz, what a turn! You know, you guys are just talking about shitty movies now. <laughs> no, no, so what we're see, what we're just we're we're just getting into it. I'm I'm more uh, interested into how your family from the army, Marine Corps, beat the hell out of your accent. You, you, I never, you move. I mean, which did you get like teased in each place you moved about the previous accent? Yeah, so I, had, I had to drop an accent each time I moved. Uh, Ken Bloom, inter- domestical man of mystery. mystery. Well, they never had strong accents, and uh, I was technically born in North Carolina. Uh, at a, I at, was at a born. Base. I was born on base, so that's considered. That's kind of like you know a an embassy in a foreign you country. You were born on I was, base. I was born on American soil, not North Carolina. <laughs> Technically American soil. <laughs> so as a young child, we moved to California. So that mixed ba, ba, New York ba, ba, parents, ba, ba, ba. North South Carolina. birth, ba, 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 ba. California for years, and then Quantico. We were transferred to Quantico. Right off of 95. Right off of 95. Quantico. This is a new thing, by the way, Ken. We haven't we haven't had the musical Michael interludes before. This is sort of like a this new is, thing. He's moving across the U.S., so I figure uh-huh. for the listener, no, 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 there's no. like a montage I like, I, going with I see like what you're doing. North Carolina. You see some Smoky Mountains. and then you go This is the first either. podcast this has happened on, and I like it. I like uh, incidental uh, music uh, in a podcast. Uh, <laughs> you know, it gives it, you can, whatever you're saying, you can, this music feels like you you should really say something important. I'm sorry. I thought everything we were saying so far was important. Was like, Wrong it in that? happened in America. I just, I, I just want to hear you. By this? I'm not. You're Beat not distracted by this? Uh, what do you think the James listeners Brown? are going to be? You don't understand the kind of jobs I've America. had and the podcast I've done over the years. Well, I know about a couple. You tend to I know about a couple. I know Smodcast. And I know that you do. I know that you do a... You do a podcast with our buddy uh, Dana Gold. Have you been around Dana the block? Snyder. Snyder. Dana Gold. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. How, I know that. How much that. of a I, buddy is he? He is. Well, I, he's in my, he's in my uh, phone. Right the voice now. of right Shake. Now. The voice of the Shake. Right now he's going, wait, he called me hey, Dana Gold. Me Dana Gold, son hell? of a bitch. Fucking ass. I, I hate him. I hate him. It's not true. We shared uh, We shared a very fun weekend once, much like and, the weekend that you and, and milk, I shared. And a milkshake. Yeah. But he didn't put me to bed like you did. Whoa. Wait, Ken is Plume, this why he knows your size? This is why. This is actually the reason why he I already knows your sizes for the, the, groom, the groomsmen. This, no, this is just. This, this is. That was my this way is, in. Look, Ken wanted to be on the podcast, and I said okay, but we just had to talk about this. Yeah, I don't. I don't bit. remember that. That's you had already gone time. to bed. You were the responsible. You, you had gone to bed and and designated driver. And people were playing music and, right and, and singing songs at a piano in a. Hotel bar in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, we, which we've managed to recreate in, in 1903 more right. outside in the lobby. Well, that's of, uh, I mean, that's the re- we, we refurbished everything for you to make it. I wanted to get back to that place. Does that mean that I have to see you off to bed? At the You're end You're going to have to see me wow. off to bed at the end of this podcast. Yeah, can, I was you very, on, can you put on the clothes you were wearing in Florida? Is that possible? <laughs> oh, I have them right here in yeah, this bag. Well, no, you always wear a black <laughs> t-shirt. I'm talking about Ken. No, I have Ken's. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a hair doll. It was a parting gift. It was a parting gift. No, I was trying to go to sleep because it was late, and I just kept- You were trying to be responsible. I was trying to be responsible, and I kept getting sucked back into the party. Everyone just kept talking to you and oh, offering up libations. Libations and treats and, and sing-alongs and birthday And you jams. were clearly fading. I mean, at one clearly point, you were fading. just laying on the ground, having a half conversation. Uh-huh. While someone was pouring <laughs> beer down my throat. Yeah. And- uh, like the party's not over, Dad. The party's not over. Ken and I made eye contact. And what happened, Ken, when we made that eye contact? I felt you needed someone in your corner. <laughs> and I didn't even know I needed it. And I thought I could be that person. And you were that person. <laughs> he looked at he picked me up. Where we belong. He outstretched his hand to me. I grabbed his hand. He pulled me up off the floor. 
And I said, you know what? I think I need to get you off to bed. So much more than you need to walk away from this. This is what's good for you right now. <laughs> he said. He said, "Why are you tired? I've been carrying you this whole time." That's why there was only there was one, only set, one of set of footprints. footprints. <laughs> the party doesn't have to end, but the night does. Sized kin walked me to. The elevator shaft. About, Pre- even about press the button. Yeah, you were, <laughs> wow. yeah, three times. Press the button. Asked me what floor I was on. Got in the elevator with me. Took me up to my floor. Asked if I needed any help. Turned down service. Opened up. <laughs> opened up three bottles of water. Like you need to hydrate. Cap, put the cap yes, back on uh, and put them on your bedside table. This is he how stuffed prevent- two water bottles in my back pockets. You need these. <laughs> Froze two water bottles and put them in your pants. Made sure he was sleeping on his side. You did make sure yeah. I was sleeping I made on my side. I was behind made him. a vomit channel for it to go away from the bed. A sluice. A sluice. We call uh, it a sluice in the business. It's a... a you know what you it's forgot, like. You forgot it's the a, one you, important thing, though, Ken. You didn't, put, you didn't put the, uh, the, the waste basket by the... Just in case. Nothing happened, but like... If you were going... You went to all that trouble, but you didn't do the last final thing. Yeah, but I knew that you were in a hotel... So it wasn't a mess you were going to have to clean up. Wow. So and, and I didn't want you to make you feel like you were at the lowest caring, of your life. Caring and cynical. <laughs> caring and cynical. I've only ever met this man in the past 24 hours, and he's taken such good care of me. He knows me. It's like he knows the inside and the outside. I was so concerned. You were. I appreciate that. I, I knew you would have been abandoned. I've, I had been abandoned. You're right. I was abandoned. I was like, I'm lost. Someone was hanging out with the land of the lost folks. Oh, a little night. too long. Oh, God. I, I haven't been fireman carried for uh, intoxication <laughs> in approximately 20 years, in almost 20 years. And I think I'm going to keep extend that record. Were you also in the, the, prom, the prom tux at the time that that happened? <laughs> no, I think that was in college. Yeah, that was in college. I did not. Keep, I managed to change my clothes since the. Brown tux. <laughs> it he, was hard though. It was he really very didn't difficult. For him. He's wearing that brown tux right now. <laughs> yes. You hide it well, but it's in the tone of your voice. We can tell. <laughs> no, I've been bannoning this whole time. I wear about fifteen collared shirts, and you never see the prom outfit on the bottom. <laughs> God. Boot cut jeans, and you never know. You know, at anything really. People don't know Mike is about fifteen pounds solid, and the rest is all layers. Oh yeah, when I fight. <laughs> When I fight, I strip naked, and my opponents are like, I can't believe he moves so fast. I've like, been wearing weighted clothing, motherfucker. He's you ever watch Dragon Ball Z? He's moved out of three dimensions. <laughs> yeah. So how's that podcast with Dana Gould? Is it pretty <laughs> Great. good? He's amazing. He's a really funny guy. Much better than that asshole, Dana Snyder. Oh, we, Dana loved, Snyder? we love Dana Snyder, uh, and we, we had a, a good debauched weekend with him in Florida, much like the one with you, but I don't know if that one involved anybody being hand carried and no. tucked yeah, into did Dana bed. Care? Did no, Dana no, Dana didn't care. Not like, not like Ken did. Dana, Dana was like, "I'm just it's gonna six, kiss you quietly in the forehead." It's six a.m. Yeah. You're going to bed, you wussy. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? We still got some. What is this? Quan, no, we got Quantro <laughs> left. Get it, get it back in here. I got a whole other bottle of uh, middle eight. <laughs> But that's how we became friends. We went to we had to do like the match game or something in in you know in the hotel and we both came with like beers and he was like, "Oh, you're drinking beer, huh? I like you. Let's be friends." They <laughs> both like, showed okay. up. They both showed up clean shaven and they left by the end of the match game with like 3 days stubble. I have no <laughs> fucking idea how it happened. It's so weird. Thanks. What can you do? Thanks, Ken. We know we know that you will be uh, a serious partner on any match game that we do subsequently. Yes. That we that we see you at a con. And I'm very I'm thankful to Pensacon and Mike Ashley for putting us together in a room after some trial and error regarding room yeah. regarding room placement. I mean, you got just, a great photo out of it. We got some good photos out of being in the land of the lost, and I got to exercise my pipes and. Look at this. We we were trailblazers. We were trailblazers that got us and the mighty Boosh out of there because we went first, and they're like, "We're not." I noticed with when these you, guys. you you came into our room. Yeah, who left? Who, who did, only, we, who well, did we only, replace? If only Black Panther hadn't come out, we wouldn't have been regarded as colonizers when we came into yeah. the room. But it wasn't fair of us to call you that as you came in. You either. did. You you definitely. I mean, did. we made it really awkward, and I'm, I'm kind of sorry. I settled in by Saturday night uh, when the con was already over for four hours. And... I mean, we had left that table <laughs> open for Elijah, and you just showed up. The prophet. Well, we were prophesizing. Uh, Jeremy, what do you predict will happen in the next uh, 
It's fixed fiscal quarter. Yeah. Uh, the large drops. Uh, we'll all be homeless in a month. Uh, <laughs> this I'd is when you need that P- fury. This is when that PTSD fat comes on the market. You have to watch out for it okay. because it's often mislabeled as lard. But I'll make sure and order it very rapidly. If no, that's what I mean. Don't bulk to sleep in. To don't keep you warm. <laughs> don't can, bulk order it. If we are homeless next month, can we come down to North Carolina and hang out? No, no, no. Okay, thanks. You don't, you don't want that. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, this is for your own good. You don't want that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, could use a I change do, of scenery. I do a fair amount of touring down there. I like. I, I don't mind it, but you're the, I'm only there for a short. Bits yeah, but what of time. areas are you touring? Are you touring well, in the, the like the super beachy, racist ones? The beachy. <laughs> <laughs> Be- beachy, beachy Piedmont, I think, is what he calls you know, it. You know, Outer Banks and. Uh, oh. Greenville just and doing Charlotte. Beach, just doing and shag, just beach music. Is that going how you come to, down to We're play? going to Asheville. We're going to be, you know, with the That's the a Mountain college Man. town. Sure. Asheville's great. They got Robbie Robinson so actually Greenville. guesting on vocals for them uh, this next time they go around. <laughs> Here, Take do, it, Robbie. To yeah. bring, do a sample? To bring it yeah. back. Yeah. To bring Basic. it back. Yeah. Uh, to the, to the uh, end. You know, yeah. and the, the sad thing is you do that when he is a dedicated listener. To this podcast, I know a huge fan. It's for the li- for is. the listener, uh, we have queued up uh, a YouTube video of J. Robbie Robertson w- watching and listening to the podcast. Jeremy, will you play it? Here we go. I love good Foley. That's it. He listens wow. to the, okay, well. He pause. watches wow. people pause. listening to the hip podcast yeah, on hip, mute. Hip I also like like a hi hat. He heard it still reverberating. Went gotta stop that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. simple, and little no simple design style. flaw no on this table. Yeah. yeah, design flaw. I, I would say that we spared no expense on the lobby, and this uh, this mahogany table was actually originally part of the mast of HMS Bounty, uh, which you remember had a huge mutiny. They saved the mast, and uh, they hewed a desk out of it, and that's what we use for our- They hewed a desk out that, of it. Yeah, that's when you uh, just set beavers at something. This is pine. You give the beavers. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot the, of love that you give the beavers in that statement. This is pine. Yeah, you give the beavers. I call them Chris. A plan, and then they just eat right through the stuff. And uh, this is why we will never stop uh, rebelling. Got to tell us that we won't stop. Well, Ken, um, what kind of plugs do you? Yeah, you, you must have, have awesome uh, plugs throw oh. out there to the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're grounded. Three prong, the best it should kind. Be. Otherwise, the best kind. Yeah, don't travel overseas uh, without. Them. I am. I, I just want to make it clear. I'm shaking my own head. I know. For the, for the, for for the, the listener, can realize the error of his way. He fucked up. Here's the thing. He I, knows, like, I like. I like him. Fucked. You. You. This is a. Well, he potentially very, saved your life, so you have to like him. I, I mean, that's yeah. true. You did potentially save. Did you? My yeah, life. it was an old let, song. Did you let the man bun down and and hold the hair back and all that stuff? I don't have hair like that. Uh, the, recent. the yeah, listener does like, not know the difference if you do or don't, so you do. <laughs> yes, I mean, my I long, mean, shaggy hair right now. He makes a valid point. Locks. Locks. Very long locks. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're, they're your con locks. They're my con locks. I only wear them at the con, because that's the only way people recognize me. <laughs> you, you should see his travel kit. It's got several mannequin heads so the different con locks on him. Mike, Mike, help me put my hair on. Yeah, fuck you. We I'm, have a panel in five. I'm vaping, Ken, I'm vaping in the toilet. Do you consider doing Comic-Con conventions and people who go there, do you consider them... Uh, Sweatier uh, than normal? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, do you consider the people that are uh, us, the people that are like at the at the events... Do you think that we're the 21st century freak shows? We're animals in the zoo? Where people just stare at us and then like, people who like, like, I like, I like the monkeys, daddy. Okay, well, here's a banana you can feed them. You you can't not sit at one of those tables as people wander in and either wander past or hover from one and go, nope, and move on. And not feel slightly awkward. What if we yeah. made it? What if we made it like the Chinese food restaurants, where it's just like uh, some plexiglass in front of us outside? So just make you no. Just make you like like a sneeze guard. Yeah, like no, no, no. Like in a rough neighborhood where, uh, like a the, wine store. Yeah, yes. Like oh, a, like a booze. liquor. I thought they had like, like a liquor I thought you were store. talking like the picture menu of the celebrities in a given room. Oh, that's and they also can look outside. That's also <laughs> great. Nope, yes, nope. man, that's a great idea. We um we have developed uh, a Comic Con bingo card over our our years of of visiting. So that could also be fun. Sort of the food picture menu of appearances. Can we appearances escalate that eventually up to like the Japanese? Fake food. Fake food outside. <laughs> and we yeah. can have... Well, yeah, we're just waiting actually for Funko to, to make vinyl pops of us, and then we'll be in business. Yeah, with like scaled down 
wax works. And he'll have a little, <laughs> he's going to have a little tattoo on his. Yeah, uh, like, and here's the pose they'll do in the photo. Yeah. Because you must have a standard photo pose mm. when people ask for a photo. Uh, it's, I know. I go, Danny's a pincher, and he goes, I am not. That's usually what happens. <laughs> that is actually factually accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Catch us at another con soon, con Ken. Stick. Give us, mm. give us that, give us those plugs. Yeah. So it's, you know what, what we're telling people is if a local convention happens to be in your area and you can travel to it, go see the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Get a photo. Get a photo. You know, have spend a mo- the money. Have a moment. And don't look us in the eyes and shake your head no. And, and I know you're not looking at me per se. I never heard of you. But yeah. <laughs> What did you do? I, like, I don't know. See all this. Yeah, I like the ones who engage and tell you why you're not worth their time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, I didn't watch that. No, I was big into you know. I, I Are you on the uh, salute your shorts? <laughs> no, that was another show that was on Nickel. I love that show. Oh <laughs> yeah. God, my favorite episode of salute. I'm like, oh shit, from- like who the fuck am I? <laughs> Is anyone from that show here? No. Oh, uh, no. oh well. No, okay, no. let's go. Can you tell them to come to this show next yeah. year? <laughs> you all talk. You all right? talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the Discord, right? You have one one server. Which one of you is Drake? Oh, I'm Josh. And and with I'm that, <laughs> I know I'm always and Josh. That. There's a be- end with a fat joke. It's fine. And with that, uh, I'm you at, know th- to I'm be at fair, Michael C. Marona. This is Josh, Josh didn't invite Dan Drake Marone. to his wedding. Josh didn't invite Drake to his wedding, and I'm in. I, you because know, I've well, invited Mike as a groomsman in my wedding. Isn't Josh the one still who put, not even, but not a best did, man? It didn't Josh oh, put Drake in the wheelchair in Degrassi? Isn't that the reason that they don't <laughs> talk? That's why. I mean, I wouldn't invite I that fucking guy to my wedding either. Yeah. Put me in a wheelchair. Yeah. Why am I going to go to your wedding? That was a good Canadian accent, by the way. Oh, put me in a wheelchair. Yeah, put me in a wheel. That's the, it's Montreal, the same guy. That's the Montreal. There's a lot of Italians in Montreal, <laughs> so they still get the accent even from New York because they moved up there, you know, or they got sent up there. That's where they went. Yeah, the Montresori. The Italians came to New York, or they sent them up to, uh, you know, Canada. Okay, now that's true. All right, gents. Ken, how about a Twitter or a uh, Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> you got any of uh, those plugs? Uh, at Ken Plume on uh, Twitter, and I think it's Insta Ken Plume on okay. Instagram. Sure, oh, nice, nice. I like that. That's a good way of knowing that. See it's all you. my photos of stuff. What kind of stuff? People, people, love stuff people from cons. Any con people pictures? No, no. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. <laughs> oh no, not on autograph uh, pictures. I mean, of the people that are talking to you. Oh, the customers. Do you ever see people in good cosplay oh, yeah. and go, "I have to take a picture of you"? Yeah, I, I got a few of those. Well, that was I got a gimmick. few of those from Pensacon. My gimmick at this last con was that people could get awful drawings of any character for one dollar. I noticed right. that from I along the that. way. So, did you do well with that? Uh, depressingly well at, at a certain point when you have a waiting list and realize oh this is like a couple of hours of my time today a for five up. bucks yeah <laughs> you priced yourself out of the market oh my god but, but I know as soon as I raised it to two bucks no one would show up and all that stack of sweaty singles oh oh when they unball it yeah Dan, the Dan <laughs> when is, they unball, unball it Dan is, dollar. Dan is usually untucking those from his dance belt at the end of the night <laughs> but true. Uh, it's very true he's uh he's at Remy Balone I can't wait till you guys start the video streaming on this podcast <laughs> soon, the soon, listeners need soon. to see yeah. what I'm seeing right they're, now they're in for a treat because Danny sw- in his sweaty dance treat. belt yeah. and, and Mike right. in his prom tux that's it right, is right. an amazing duo oh, oh lord oh man thank you so much Ken thank you Ken thank you for having yeah. me uh, I am. Uh, thanks for saving my life. I'm thankful. We're all thankful. Yeah, the podcast continues. I appreciate my one and only appearance on this podcast. Wow, that's not true. That's called the bridge burning. That's not true. Do, do, do. You said all. You said oh, all no. the right things. Oh, no. oh wait, burning a bridge. I, no, no. The implication was I would fine. not be asked back, and I'm happy that I got the mm. chance to be here this one do you, time. Did burning you go from? Uh, did, did we move you up? This is the, pure self-deprecation. <laughs> Can That's our slogan, actually. Memorable. I'm getting tired. I Danny think Mike. I need Ken yes. to yeah. take me to bed. And now, oh, boy. And now we're going to perform uh, this beautiful song from Song from the Cape Man. While you do that. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Paul Simon's <laughs> failed Broadway musical. You failed. Can, so failed. You can find Danny at, at D. Tamborelli. You can find Michael at, at Michael C. Morono. I'm at Remy Bale, and I have another podcast called Fresh Beef. Uh, and, uh, yeah, how about uh, how about we go play some Cape Man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Cape Man. I'm a Cape Cape Man. You sound Is that a what? Cape- 
No, that's the Kinks, Ape Man, oh, Cape yeah. Man. You oh, okay. add a C and it's perfect. But, uh, I'm taking Bernadette. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, kid. <laughs> the Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by Jeremy Bailey. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter, at Danny and Mike, with the N spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. <laughs>